has taken up most of that green space. That needs to be green from this building to the administration building. And the individual who, whom it is named after is also well into his 80s and wants to see this soon. One of the other plans that we're continuing to evaluate is the Sasaki recommendation of us building an aerobic center as an addition to our recplex along Belvoir Avenue. Sasaki recommended that we build of a size that would be open to the community as one more way in which we can engage University Heights and Shaker Heights. So as we look at this plan, we'll continue to evaluate that. This year, on May 1st, we had 780 student deposits for fall. On May 1st, no matter the size of our fall class, we have never in our history had 780 deposits on May 1st. So we are delighted with our deposits that are now over 800. This year we set a record at 3,453 applications to John Carroll. 2,800 offers of admissions, which gives us a 79% acceptance rate. The freshman class, now at 800, is 68% from Ohio. 22 states are represented. 27% are legacy students. 24% are first generation students. 11% are students of color. 77% have above a 3.0 GPA, and over half are in the top third of their high school class. In these next months, we will roll out two major new programs, new science majors in cell biology and environmental science, and I hope to see more and more new academic programs next year. Of particular interest to this group, however, is that our new residence hall floor will be dedicated to entrepreneurship and another one for our honor students. This should excite students and as we think about remodeling our residence halls, we need to create more learning space within the residence halls, which is our uh, higher education's focus today. Within the last month, we announced the new academic vice president Dr. John T. Day will join us the first week of August. His responsibilities, of course, will, will include managing our academic programs, the academic life of the university, ma maintaining high standards for our students and our academic programs, and promoting faculty leadership and student learning. He's currently the Vice President of Academic Affairs and Dean of the College at Roanoke College in Salem, Virginia. Dr. Day brings impressive credentials. Summa cum laude graduate of the College of the Holy Cross, one of our Jesuit schools in Worcester, Massachusetts. He completed his doctorate in English and American Literature at Harvard University, where he also taught in the expository writing program. He served 23 years at St. Olaf's College in Northfield, Minnesota, where he was chair of the English department, associate dean of interdisciplinary studies, and Assistant Vice President for Academic Affairs. We are currently continuing our searches for a Chief Information Officer, for the Vice President for Student Affairs. The finalists will begin coming in this week. The Executive Director of Facilities, the finalists will also be interviewed in the next week. And finally, a Government and Community Affairs position to fill a position that Jerry Sheehan has held for many years. So in closing, I'd like to welcome you again. We're delighted to have you at John Carroll. We're delighted to recognize Umberto and Mel this evening and congratulate them. Seeing all of you here reminds me of the importance of the Entrepreneurs Association and reminds me of two of John Carroll's more illustrious entrepreneurs, the man after whom this building is named, Charles Dolan, and the entrepreneur you saw or read about on the front page of the Plain Dealer today, Brian Mock. Brian graduated just a week ago. He announced what was, during his college time, his goal, which is to do something about homelessness and housing 
And at 22 years old, he's doing that now. So I congratulate him, and we're delighted to have examples like these two that take a John Carroll education and make it work. And so I thank all of you for joining us this evening and for your interest in our, in our entrepreneurial endeavors. Thank you. Thank you, Father. One of the um, many outstanding traits of John Carroll is the commitment of their volunteer leadership. And one of those dedicated leaders is Pat Oletta. Pat is currently a member of the university's board of directors and has always stepped up when the university needed him, including as chair of the last capital campaign. Pat will offer the blessing before the meal for us, so please welcome Pat Oletta. Good evening. I can find my glasses here as I've gotten older. Lord, we come together this evening to celebrate the spirit of entrepreneurship and to honor two very special people who have distinguished themselves through their entrepreneurial actions. Mal Mixon, Chairman of the Board and Chief Executive Officer of Invicare Corporation, who is the 2008 Edward M. Muldoon Award recipient for Civic Entrepreneurship, and Umberto Fidelli, President and Chief Executive Officer of the Fidelli Group, who is the 2008 recipient of the John J. Cale Junior Award for Creative Leadership. We are blessed by their presence, and we ask you to bless them and their families. We also ask you to bless John Carroll University and its president, Reverend Bob Niehoff, whose gifts of guidance and leadership continue to move this university forward as a center of learning and service for others. We ask you to bless John Carroll students, alumni, and friends who are all gathered here this evening. We ask for your continued guidance so that programs that support our mission and identity, like the Muldoon Center for Entrepreneurship, continue to shape our students of today to become leaders of tomorrow and make a significant difference through their services to others in the region and in the world. Father, we ask you to bless and protect our men and women in military service on land and sea and in the air. We request your powerful intercession and help to obtain peace for the church, peace among nations, peace in our hearts, and our homes. We ask you to bless the food we share this evening and the hands that prepared it. Keep us mindful that we receive this and all blessings from your abundant goodness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The vision of this university. John Carroll will graduate individuals of intellect and character who lead and serve by engaging the world around them and around the globe. Shortly after arriving at John Carroll, Dean Frank Navitrill encouraged me to call Ed Muldoon to introduce myself. To my surprise, when he answered the phone, he asked me if Fred Hauserman was my father. With seven uncles, rarely is the question correctly asked. I was a friend of your dad's, and he was a gentle man. I remember this comment as if he said it five minutes ago. He did not say gentleman, he said gentle man. This was the beginning of my relationship with Ed. In the time that was given to us, we talked principally about the owners of the companies our business association supports. Ed's company, Bivar, moved from a simple hook and eye connector to optoelectronics and engineered illumination. He nearly cheered out loud when I told him that the first two courses in what has become our new proposed entrepreneurship minor <laughs> 